We're just days into this, and already I've shook thousands of hands and made hundreds of friends. People keep talking about energy. They keep saying they feel it. I feel it. You'll feel it. This place makes you feel it. I'm serious. There's this extra bit of breath you get. Time just goes that little tick slower. It almost feels like a superpower. But it's a super place. This place. The Bruce Peninsula. Red Bay on the Bruce. Canada, for that matter. It's full of so much beauty, so much history, so many things to do, and so many fantastic people that realize just what this life can be. I felt stuck. We felt stuck. We love Toronto. There's great people there too, but I can't picture a future there better than here. I think you'll see it. We needed new life. Red Bay is that for us, and we can be that for Red Bay. In 1949, the Red Bay Lodge rose from the cedar-covered land, awaiting beers and cheers for those perhaps arrogant enough to call themselves gentlemen. No women allowed, although I haven't found the rules on newfies like Riley from what was then known as Naughty Pines. Now, 70 years later, we're taking the Red Bay Lodge and we're loving it again, bringing it to its former glory, restoring the pride of the peninsula to those golden days. We're doing this to honor what this place can become. It's going to be our legacy and it can include you too. In Red Bay, we've got a lot of rock stars, men and women of many talents, Jacks and Jills of amazing and everything. Everyone here has a story. Many wish never to tell, but the theme is the same. They love this place. They love this life. Everything about this place is special. I'm not being theatric when I say, you can feel it. You just have to come along. About a month ago, we bought this lodge. And not just any lodge, but a lodge with 70 years of history that comes with it. With decades of memories, with thousands of legends, with hundreds of gems, there's more stories here than we can ever count. We've jumped right in with three major events in our first three weeks. A full house wedding, and a powerless Thanksgiving feast. A funeral. Oh, don't worry. It was for a fish. Don't you dare take him off the wall, or the locals will kill you, is what I remember Terry Hastings, our superstar agent, generally saying. It sparked an idea. I have lots of those. Not all of them are good, but this one was great. I would take it off the wall. The locals will kill me. It'll go viral. And any press is good press. So we'd need a funeral, a fun roll, a fish funeral. Lesson one of a lodge made of love. We're weird and we like that. You'll like that too. First, we had to close the deal. You gotta buy things before you hold fish funerals, apparently. It wasn't easy. You gotta jump in when you're gonna tackle a project like this. You have to immerse yourself. You gotta know the area. That involves a hell of a lot of driving when you live two and a half hours away. Luckily, I had already cannonballed in with my brother Tim 
starting high Bruce to find the best things to do on the Bruce Peninsula. More on that later. We finally got our offer accepted after some back and forth. The previous owner was looking to move into other opportunities and we were looking to move into this one. Truth be told, we had no real backup. There wasn't anything we loved like this. How could there be? It's amazing. 18,000 square feet, 15 picturesque cabins, a second story hotel featuring eight guest rooms, three private suites, a horror movie-esque indoor pool, 50 acres of the eco paradise, and the best restaurant on the Bruce Peninsula. All of this was less than a one bedroom plus den condo down the street from the little box that we lived in for the last five years. Seriously, you just have to be crazy enough to take on something like this. You have to have just the right amount of oomph, but more importantly, the right team to save your behind when you accidentally flip the sewage pump breaker and cause a really shitty situation. Not that that's a thing or anything. Nah. Thanks for following A Lodge Made of Love on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube, Instagram, and hey, maybe even TikTok. But in real life, just come along. Look online at redbaylodge.com. Like, share, subscribe, and bring treats. We're showing one lucky couple what love on the Bruce can be. Enter to win your own private dining experience and intimate concert by one of the Bruce Peninsula's best singer-songwriters. An entire lodge making your Valentine's Day unforgettable. Facebook, the Red Bay Lodge for details to enter. Jealous? Us too. So we're throwing a family day concert and dining experience two days later, February 16th. Details on Facebook. Extremely limited tickets available. Reserve today before they're gone. Our intimate dining experience and concert is not to be missed. Love on the Bruce. Book today at highbruce.ca. We've got the right team here. Kristen to make money to pay for our insane heating bill. Mary, to design and execute our vision in updating our accommodations. Gil, to build and conquer our dated infrastructure issues. And me, to try and steer the ship without hitting anything and to never stop giving it our all in our effort to love this lodge. Oh yeah, and to show you why you should too. We can't forget the lodge dog or more like Lodge Princess. Imagine being an already spoiled dog living in 238 square feet, getting bumped up to 18K with a meat scrap bucket. Fortunately, we put her to work here, giving out kisses and saying hi to every person she greets. So back to the funeral. Ah, hell. Let me just show you. It was so freaking.
It was about this moment, and I stopped and thought to myself, holy crap, this all came together. We took possession of the lodge on October 2nd, Kristen's 32nd birthday. We needed to make a splash. We needed an event to be the official send-off to summer for the Bruce Peninsula. A shoulder season event to be remembered. A party worth keeping your cottage open for. And a tradition to be celebrated. This had to be the start of something special. And oh boy, did we get that. It feels like all of Red Bay either sent their love or marched right along with us as we took Mr. Fishy, Paul Bearer style, down Simon Avenue. It was absolutely overwhelming. There was so many people for Mr. Fishy. He officially went to fish heaven in 1967 in Hawaii. But look at all these people who came for his send off all these years later, or for the party after. Either way, look at these legends. Give Red Bay an inch and they'll go a mile. Give them cheap beer, and baby, we're gonna make a hell of a splash. As we sent Mr. Fishy off onto an absolutely perfect day on Red Bay on the Bruce, everyone who's everyone came. On the water was High Bruce partner Bruce Peninsula Boat Tours, and our friend George even rode over in one of his handmade cedar boats. But on land, on land, I mean everyone came. Just look at this. We're blowing up the group photo to display at the lodge forever. And next year, you can be in it too. You just have to come along. As the dinner bell rings, the fun section of the funeral began. We had such an awesome party, with Dream On absolutely rocking the dust off the lodge. I foresee many more nights like these. Hasn't seen this excitement in a generation, was a quote I heard in a few forums that night. Thanksgiving brought us the opportunity to finally meet face to face with so many of the great people in the Red Bay community, many of which we'd only talked to on Facebook so far. You'll hear that word a lot. No, not Facebook. Community. It's such an interesting mix. There's the Red Bay Diehards. I bet we've got a few tattoos if we look hard enough. But the love comes just as strong from the weekend warriors. The one week a years, the drive-bys, and the oh highs. Red Bay means so much to so many, and we welcome all. Everyone here can feel it. They know this place is special. This is a part of Canada where you can have a 10 minute convo regardless of if you know someone or intended to talk to them in the first place. Everyone is here to enjoy their life. It's a great place to be. We settled down for a nice relaxing Thanksgiving dinner, a calm introduction to Red Bay. Or at least we thought. It turned out, like most things here, to be pretty wild. 45 minutes before the first seating. Power outage. Nothing. Zilch. Generator? Ha! Batteries not included with this lodge. We're less than a week into owning, and our first 51 star reviews are going to be because of a dead squirrel up the road. Ironic. I know. How did we know Red Bay was the best place on earth? That we were here with our new plaid wearing people? As north of the beach lost power, we had multiple neighbors walk over, bringing us candles, tea lights, and supplies. Even a camping stove. They knew we were new. With a full plate of hungry folk at the door, and dollar beers wasn't going to solve this problem. It wasn't exactly a secret we were in trouble. We had a neighbor, and now friend, John, haul his generator over as we strung extension cords together to get the point of sale up, comically becoming useless just as the power went back on. Our first outage, our first hiccup, 
Only two hours by candlelight required. Only three-fourths of a seating. We still had time to get the electric whipper for dessert and enjoy an angry squirrel family meal afterwards. When a community shows you this much love, the least you can do is show love back. And that's exactly what we wanted to do when Paul and Joan approached us about a wedding for their daughter Jess. The lodge in Red Bay means so much to them too. But we said, hell no. We have no idea what we're doing yet. And three weeks just isn't enough time. No, nada. No way. Not a chance. I mean, no, it, it would be a good test and everything, but it'd be crazy. And, and rent all the rooms? Like, we don't even know how many pillows we have. Feed 120 people. Huh? I, I've seen TV shows about brides. I ain't messing with that. There's no way that'd come together. There's no way something like that gets pulled off. No, no way. No, that, that'd be something special. That'd take a whole lot of love. Maybe a Red Bay miracle or two. Congrats to the happy couple. Thank you for making us a part of your story, too. There'll always be a friend and a smile awaiting you here. For me, this whole thing has been overwhelming. It's been so much time and planning, so much effort to put together. There's so many hours between browsing a real estate listing and posting this video. There's so many things that mistakenly went right. So many that appeared at the time to go fatally wrong. Yet it all came together. And if I'm being honest, mostly thanks to everyone else. You'll learn that very quick. I'm not the star of this show. It's the people that make this tick. I think I teared up like three times that day. None more openly or instantly than when Shirley Bullen strolled through our doors. I don't think you've met me yet, she said, as I pondered which of the thousands of faces I've recently seen. I'm Shirley Bullen, she smiled at me. My jaw dropped. She didn't need to say another word. When I say Riley is the queen of the lodge, <laughs> truth be told, she's the baby princess when Shirley walks in. Shirley and Roy built most of what we consider the Red Bay Lodge over their 30 years of owning and operating every day from the very walls that I now call home. I've walked an inch in the thousands of miles that Shirley's walked. If there's anyone that can claim they love the Lodge more than us. It's her. And when she gave us her blessing, and presented us with this painting, and wished us well in carrying on her legacy, I couldn't help but be overwhelmed with how important this journey will be. This commitment we've taken on, the passion it deserves, this means something. This place is special. This path is special. A few days later, in that same lobby, with nothing on the security camera and not a soul in sight, a champagne bottle popped. Not just popped, but unscrewed its wire cap as the cork flew off into the Red Bay Lodge lobby. I'd like to think that's the lodge giving it its nod to. It happening on October 30th was only slightly scary, but hell, ideas for a haunted lodge next year are already spinning. Thanks, roomies. 
I'll make sure to leave the spirits out instead of champagne next time.